and welcome. Today I'm going to provide you with an introduction to the Registry of Deeds. Some of the memorials have been indexed and are available on irishdeedsindex.net. The work on this website is a work in progress. As this is a searchable website, it is worth beginning by carrying out a search here to see if you can locate what you're looking for. If your search is not successful on Irish Deeds Index, then another avenue to explore is the non-searchable website familysearch.org, but do make sure that you have registered with this free website in order to log in. First, I'm going to provide some background information. The Registry of Deeds is based on Henrietta Street in Dublin. It was established in 1708 and is the repository for memorials of deeds and transfers of property, as well as wills, in Ireland. If your ancestor leased land in Ireland, even a small plot of 20 acres, you may find evidence of them in the Registry of Deeds. Deeds were registered in order to prevent forgeries, of which there were many. It was not compulsory to register deeds with the registry, so unfortunately their records are not a comprehensive account of every land transaction in the country. The Registry of Deeds can be useful for genealogical research because deeds and conveyances which is the legal process of transferring property from one owner to another, can sometimes contain valuable genealogical information, such as names, occupations, and addresses for the parties to the deeds, as well as family relationships, maiden names of wives, and the names of siblings, and the married names of sisters. Marriage settlements are the distribution of an estate based on the instructions of a will, which may no longer survive, can contain a great deal of genealogical information. Not all families will have registered transfers of property with the Registry of Deeds, so this source is primarily useful for researching families who were in possession of property in Ireland in the 18th and 19th century. Nevertheless, it is always worth having a look. The memorials can be searched by the name of the grantor, which may not always be known, or by townland. I like to search by townland and you will see that from the examples that I'm going to go through today. The townlands index is an index of all transactions compiled under the county and the name of the townland up to 1832. After 1832 the index is compiled under the county and the heading of barony and then townland. If you do not know the name of the grantor the townland index can be a valuable research tool. This index exists from 1708 to the early 1900s. This is an example of a townland index, and it's for the townland of Plucons in the barony of Barrett, and it runs from 1885 to 1889. It provides the name of the grantor, the name of the grantee, as well as the year of registry, the volume number, and the memorial number. There is no charge to consult the records held in the Registry of Deeds in Henrietta Street unless you want copies of material which can be ordered at a cost of 20 euros per memorial. You cannot take photographs and research in the registry can be time consuming. But today we're going to go through the online resources that are available for the Registry of Deeds. So the website that I'm in here is genealogy.ie forward slash registry hyphen of hyphen deeds. The reason that I go into these two websites that we're going to look at through this website is because sometimes it can be quite difficult to find the exact location in familysearch.org. So this is quite handy to use. First, I'm going to look at the Registry of Deeds Index Project Ireland. So I'll click on that and it's going to take me into this website, which is a work in progress. So there's quite a number of volunteers working on this project. So here under search, we've got a number of different options available to us. We can, we've got the main index entries, we've got the grantors index transcriptions, and we've got the townland indexes. I like to search through the townland indexes, so I'm going to click on that one there. And when we get in here, we have a number of different fields available to us to search under. So we've got denomination, county, barony, parish, and so on. Denomination, just to point out, it's a little bit confusing. It does not refer to religion. Denomination in this case refers to townland. So I'm going to search for Plucons because I've got ancestors from Plucons, which is in County Cork. 
and I'm going to my, keep my search very simple as I normally do. So there are my two search criteria down here to the bottom and click on search. Okay, so up here we've got number of records returned equals 10. Just click on OK. So that's not bad. At least it's giving some results anyway. So we've got a number of headings. We've got denomination, which refers to the townland, as I've explained. We've got county, barony, uh, party one refers to the grantor, party two refers to the grantee. And we've got our various numbers here in relation to volume number, memorial, the year range. So in this case here, the year range refers to 1810 to 1819. So it's probably a little early for me to find any of my ancestors as they wouldn't have been owning land at this point. They would only have been renting. And over here, we can see that these were indexed by Raz McCutcheon. Here, I recognise a number of landlords that I would have been familiar with seeing on documentation over the years for the townland. French, Ruby, Bennett all stand out as landlords. But as I say, there is no mention of my own ancestors there. So I just want to give you a quick introduction to that website to irishdeedsindex.net. But from there, we're going to go back and now we're going to look at familysearch.org. So remember, this is a non-searchable website. So I'm going to show you how to actually um, use the website in such a way as to get information from it. So in here, we're in transcripts of memorials of deeds, conveyances and wills. Do bear in mind, you do need to be logged in under your account in order to use it. So previously, when you got into this section, the grantor index, the land index, our place name index and the deeds were all on very one very long page. You could scroll down through all the pages. However, they have divided up these pages now so that the, those three indexes are divided into 27 pages. So we're on page one of 27 here. So just to explain that, the grantor index is on page one and page two. The land or place name index runs from page two to page eight, and the deeds run from page eight to page 27. So that is important to bear in mind. So to reiterate what I've just said, I have put that into a slide. So the grantor index runs from page one to two. The land or place name index, which refers to timelines and baronies, runs from pages two to eight, and then the deeds run from page eight to page 27. So now I'm going to go do an example. So I'm going to do my example by searching under the townland. So remember I said the townlands run from, or the land or place name index runs from page two to page eight. So I have, I'm on page two here. So we're going to scroll down because the start of page two is made up of the grantors. And we scroll down here. So this is the start of the land index. So what I want to point out here is that we're looking at the date, first of all. So we've got 1708 to 1738. So this is the very start of the, um, of the records. They begin in 1708. So you can see here, we've got the early records all running in chronological order, 1708. And then we, before that, you've got the county. Then down here, we go up to 1739 to 1810, 1739 to 1779, 1780 to 1809. So you can see they're running in date order. And then as I say, the next thing you look at after that is your actual county that you're looking for. So if we run on to page three, it should cover probably again 1739. So we just need to scroll up to the top of the page. So we've got the land index 1739 to 1810 for Louth. So you can see there they're running then in alphabetical order of the county. So I'm looking for something in the maybe 1870s. So I need to hop on another bit. So I'm going to go on to page four and see what I get here. So okay, so we've got the 1830s. So remember, I'm not looking at the county yet. I am literally just looking at the dates. And we can scroll down along. 
1850s, 1860s. So that's still too early. So we'll go on to page five. And it always goes down to the bottom of the page. So if you, you can just scroll up to the top. So I'm looking for something, we'll say 1875 is what I'm looking for. So, okay, so we're on to the 1875s here. And we can see in alphabetical order, we've got Antrim and Armagh. And I'm looking for County Cork. So here we've got place name index by County Cork, 1875 to 1879. So this is the one I'm looking for. So then I go over here to the right hand side and I click on the little camera. So that brings us into this page here. So we're on image one of 589. So you can see there's multiple little pages here. So the first thing I want to highlight is this word here, begin. So, and then after begin, we hop two pages after that. So to this one here and double click. So we can see here, we're in County of Cork, volume one. And we see the baronies here listed alphabetically. So we can see we've got Bantry, Barrett's, Barrymore, and so on. Just to go back from there, I actually do want to look at the, a townland in the barony of Barrett's. But before I do that, I just want to point out that if you wanted to look for a later barony, we go over here and we go back to our multiple pages and we scroll down to the next begin page. So we keep on scrolling until we find another page with the word begin on it. Okay, so we have a begin here. And then as I say, two pages after that, click on it, double click. And we want to see what baronies we have here. So we've got County of Cork, volume two. We've got Condon's and Clongibbon, Cork, Coursey's, Duhallow and Formoy. And if we weren't looking for something there, if we were something, looking for something later again, what we would do is keep on scrolling on down. I'm not going to go into the next section, but I just want to highlight the pattern that you follow in order to find the barony that you're looking for. So again, we would keep on going until we find another begin. So we have a begin there. If you go two pages after that, click on that, you would double click it. But as I say, I'm not going to concentrate on that now. So we want to go back up to the one that I'm interested in, which is in the Barony of Barrett's. So I want to go to the top of the page. So remember, we had begin here and back over to this one that we looked at earlier. So we're, we've got the Barony of Bantry is the first one that's mentioned, and that's on page one. So I just want to literally just move on to the next page just to introduce you to it and get familiar with it. So we can see here we're in the Barony of Bantry and we are on the letter A. So that mean, means that these are the townlands that for which there are deeds between 1875 and 1879. So we can see all the A's here. If we were to scroll on, we have more A's, more townlands beginning with A. So they're not as say, necessarily in alphabetical order, but all the A's are going to be there together. So I want to go back and I want to look, as I say, for something in the Barony of Barrett's. So with this, it's very much guessing, it's trial and error. So I'm going to move on to page or image 50, I should say, and see where that brings me to. I'm looking for something in the Barony of Barrett's. So I click on that. OK, so great. It's after bringing me into the Barony of Barrett's. So I'm in the townland with the or the the townlands with beginning with the letter K. And again, it's saying not necessarily in alphabetical order. So I need to jump on another little bit. So I'm just going to scroll through the pages here by using my next button. Keep on doing that until I get to the P's. Okay, so here we're on L. So then we're on to the M's. Keep scrolling on through the pages. M, N, O, and P. So P is the townland that I'm looking for. I'm just going to 
zoom in there a little bit. So as you can see over here on the left hand side, you've got all the townlands beginning with the letter P. Coincidentally, a lot of these seem to refer to the townland of Lugans. Then we've got the parish name, which generally tends not to be filled in. We've got the grantor listed here, the name of the grantee. Very importantly, then over here on the right hand side, we've got the year of registry. We have got the volume number and the memorial number. And these are very important in order to find your deeds. So I'm just going to have a look and see which one am I going to choose for doing my example today. Um, so because my ancestors were from the townland of Plugans West, I might choose this one here. So we've got a John C. Bennett and we've got a James Russell. And that was completed in 1877. The volume number is 28. The memorial number is 174. So it is important to say to make a note of this information in order to go and search for the deed, which is the next thing we're going to do. So from here, we go back. So this has taken us back to the um, index, the original index that we're in. So remember, as I said earlier, the deeds run from page eight to page 27. So the early deeds are going to be referring, referring to the early 1700s, but I'm looking for something in 1875. So I don't need anything as early as page eight. So literally, as I said earlier, again, it's very much a case of kind of picking random page numbers in order to see where you're looking for. So I am going to search for page 20. So we're in the deeds index here. So that is 1884. So that's a little late because remember, I'm looking for the year 1877. So I'm going to take out page 20 and I'm going to try page 18. Okay, so we're on 1872 here at the very top. So again, I'm looking for 1877. I need to scroll down and find the year 1877. So here is 1877. So bear in mind, there's no mention of counties or anything now at this stage. This is just to do with years. So the volume number that I was interested in is volume 28. So I need to come down to here. So here we can see we've got deeds, etc. Volume 25 to volume 28 for 1877. I go over here to the right hand side and I click on the little camera, just like I did earlier when we were going into the Townland Index. OK, so again, this looks slightly familiar in that, again, we've got a, quite a lot of images. We're on image one of 635. So here I want to point out begin again to you. And this time we're looking at two pages before it. So if we click on this here, double click. And I just want to highlight the fact that we're in the year 1877, which is the year we're looking for, but we're in volume 25. Remember, we're looking for volume 28. So from here, we're going to go back to the multiple pages and we're going to Scroll down along, guys, bear in mind, we're looking for volume 28. So we've got a black page there, a black page there. I think we can hop on past those, but that's what we're looking for. Another black page there. And the next black page, now that I locate, I'm going to go into. So this one here, click on it, double click on it, and we're in volume 27. So we're looking for volume 28. Back again to our multiple pages. Scrolling down a little bit. Okay, another black page. Click, double click. And okay, so we've got volume 28, which is the volume number we're looking for. So back to our multiple pages. We've got begin and two pages after begin. Is this page here. Double click on that. And this is looking good. This is what we're looking for in terms of the volume number and the year. So it says 1877, book or volume 28. And this is memorial number one. So again, bear in mind, we're looking for memorial 174. So we've a little bit more to do yet before we're going to find it. So we're up here 
we're on image 476. I'm literally going to have to take a punt and pick a random number. So I'm going to go 100 images further. So 576 and see where that takes us to. So again, as I say, memorial number is what I'm concentrating on here. Memorial 174. That is Memorial 194. So I'm a little bit too late there, gone a bit too far. So we're going to go back to the image 566. And okay, so down here, we're on Memorial number 170. So we're getting close now. So at this point, I'm just going to scroll through the pages using my little arrow here. So probably don't even need to look at this page, 172. Memorial number 173. And hopefully this is it. This is memorial number 174. And if we remember back to the Townland Index, we were looking for a deed of uh, with the surnames Bennett and Russell. The grantor was Bennett, the grantee was Russell. So we have actually located the deed that we were looking for. I'm not going to go into the detail of reading all of this, but we have been fortunate enough to locate the deed. So hopefully this has given you uh, an indication as to how to actually locate a deed on familysearch.org. So if you feel you've learned enough by now in order to proceed and do a search yourself, feel free to do so. However, I'm going to carry on and do another example. This example is going to be slightly different in that it's from the earlier time frame. So here we're looking at records or deeds between 1708 and 1832. And in this earlier period, there's no mention of baronies. So the, the search is ever so slightly different. So again, bear in mind, we're looking at the land, our place name index, first of all. We're looking for something relatively early. So I'm going to start by looking at page three of the index in order to see if I can locate something for County Cork, first of all. So scroll down through these. Okay. So we've got a Cork here, a land index Cork, 1820 to 1828. So I'm going to go over here and click on my camera, just like I have done previously. So when I get in here, I'm going to look here for the begin page. First of all, I'm going to go to the page before begin, double click on it. So it's, tell, it's telling me I'm in the land index, lands index 1820 to 1828. I'm going to go back to my multiple pages and I'm going to go to the word, the page after begin. So this one here, double click on it. And the reason I do this is to get my bearings. So we've got County of Cork commencing the 1st of January 1820 and it runs up to 1828. I'm going to go and look at the next page. So the next page should provide me with the list of townlands beginning with the letter A for which there was deeds completed between 1820 and 1828. So if you remember back to the previous example, we had to look first of all um, at the barony and then go into the townland through the barony. But here now we've got all of County Cork in one location. So we've got all the townlands with the letter A, not necessarily in alphabetical order, just all the A's together. So I'm looking for the townland of Pluckons as always, um, but that's going to be fairly low down in the alphabet. So I'm going to try image 220 and see how I get on with that. Okay, so that's taking me to the M's. So I still have a little bit further to go. So to try to image 230. Okay, so I'm on to the P's, but because now we're looking at the whole of County Cork, there's obviously going to be a couple of pages of P's, so I may not necessarily be at the very start of them. So still got more P's there. Okay, so we've got an O there. 
and this is obviously the start of the peas. So I want to have a look at the townlands now and I'm going to look for see if there is any mention of plugons. So I'll scroll down through the list. Okay, so we've got plugons west here. Okay, so I'm just gonna zoom into that. So we've got the grantor, crook, and the grantee is Gilman's. And the important information that we need to make note of is these numbers here. So slightly different maybe to what we're used to previously. Uh, and remember, we've got no columns as we had previously either. So the volume number is 755. The page number is 477. And the memorial number is 513412. So it's important to write down that information in order to proceed further. It may also be useful to take a photograph of this. So from there, we go back to the deeds index. So again, bear in mind, just to reiterate, the deeds run from 8 to 27. So because I'm looking for something relatively early, I'm going to start by searching on page 10. So here we're in the 1700s runs up as far as 1792. I'm looking for something between 1820 and 1828. So I'm going to hop on there from page 10, maybe to page 12. Okay, so here we have the 1820s. Okay, so just to bring you back to our Townland Index, remember Crook and Gilman's. So the volume number is 755. So that's what we're looking for here, first of all. So volume, so deeds, etc. volume 755, 1820. And over here and click on the camera. So bear in mind, we're not talking about counties now anymore. We're now dealing with the year and the volume number. So when this takes us in here, we're going to get up our multiple pages as you're used to now at this point. We're going to go and find the first begin, which is this one here. And then we go to the page before it. Again, just to get my bearings, make sure that we're in the right area. So it's telling me 1820 volume 755. So that's all good. Take my multiple pages and I go into but I'm going to go two pages after the word begin. So this one here, double click. And the reason I'm doing that is I want to see the memorial number on the very first page. Uh, so that's going to give me a fairly good indication of how far along I need to move with my images. So bear in mind, we're looking for memorial number 513412. Where did I get that information from? That came from this here. 513412. So back to this again. So I have another bit of searching to do yet. We're a little bit early. So there's 354 images in this section. So I'm going to move on to pay to image 300 to see where that actually takes me to. So what I'm going to be looking for here is a memorial number. I need to see, am I terribly far away or am I relatively near enough to what I'm looking for. So this is actually looking quite promising. This is five, memorial number 513444. Remember, we're looking for 513412. So even here now, I can even start concentrating on the last four digits, 444. Four. So I need to go back another little bit. I'm on image 300. I'm going to try 280 and see how I go with that. So I need to zoom out so I can find the memorial number. Okay, so we've got memorial 513409, so this is looking promising. We're getting near now. So at this point now, instead of taking out the number up here and putting in a new number, I'm just gonna move through the pages here by clicking on the next button. There seems to be one continuous memorial, so there's no change of memorials there. Go on to the next page. Okay, so we're on 410 there. Okay, I'll try the 
next page. Okay, so this is what we're looking for. 513412. And we can see our two surnames here, the grantor and the grantee, Crook and Gilmans. So we've actually located the deed that we're looking for. Again, like previously, I'm not going to read through all the details of it. You can see there's quite a bit to it. It runs over onto the next page. It is, you know, a page and three quarters perhaps there of a memorial. So hopefully that has given you a good indication as to how to do your searches for both before 1832 and after 1832. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. Thank you.